A few years ago, a little town in Turkey with approximately 14,000 inhabitants became the spotlight among tourists. This is the place that once saw the birth of the Ottoman Empire in the 13th century, but for a long time, it wasn't even figuring as one of the main touristic cities in the country, but thanks to a famous TV series, this picturesque little settlement gained recognition of local and international tourists. In this episode, let's explore together Söğüt, a district of Bilecik province and where we can visit the tombs of Erdurul Gasse. From Otunpasare Eskishehir, we are taking the tram number 10, all the way to the very last station called Otogar, that means the bus stations. If you want to see more about how to use the public transportation in Eskishehir, we will invite you to watch our video on our YouTube channel. So we have finally made it to the bus station in Eskishehir and from here we are going to take a bus to Saud Bilejik, which is a place where we are going to show you many places about uh, Erturul Gasse. and here it is very easy. As, as you could see previously we just took the tram and in 10 minutes we were already here. As soon as you arrive here just make sure to look for the ticket stand number 44. From there you will be able to find the route exclusively to Seoul and the buses depart every hour or hour and a half and for a single ticket per person we only pay 20 liras which is super affordable. So if you are planning on going to, to Seoul from Eskishehir this is the best option for you. Right now we are in this famous place in Turkey called Saud in the province of Bilecik. It's very close to Eskishehir. And in this place we'll be able to explore together many places related to this historical character Erdurul Gassi, who is also known around the world thanks to a famous series by TRT called Dirilish Erdurul. So let's discover these beautiful places together. This mosque is situated in the heart of Saud, and this one is one of the oldest buildings that we will find in this place. This one was built between 1414 and 1420 under the orders of Sultan Mehmed I. This place is a must-see when you are coming to Sobot because this is known as the first masjid ever established during the Ottoman period and a masjid is a smaller place than a mosque to worship. It was built on the 13th century by Erdurul Gazi. It's believed that it was around the year 1281. It has undergone many restorations throughout the time but its current appearance took place during the reign of Sultan Abdul Hamid II. And this one is called Kuyulu because inside there is a pit, which you will be able to see inside the plate. It attracts thousands of visitors every year. 
This is the main symbol that you will be able to see in many places, especially the most important ones here in Sot. This one represents the Cayu tribe. That's a tribe where Ertur Gases was part of, and he was one of the main leaders. And as you can see here, this represents two arrows and an arch. Also, you will be able to find many souvenirs with this symbol and representation, so you can choose as many as you want. The majority of the works exhibited in the museum include clothing items reflecting the culture of Saud and Bilejik. Woven products consist of carpets, rugs and saddles, weapons, waking instruments and various items used in daily life. Nowadays, and thanks to the famous TV series Didilish Erturul, this place is receiving almost 4,000 visitors every month, when a few years ago just a few hundreds were coming here. This beautiful mosque was built during the reign of Sultan Abdul Hamid between 1903 and 1905. The mosque, which has a square plan, single dome, and a double minaret, is striking with its neoclassical style, with its walls made of red cut stone. Since it has two minarets, it is also known as a double minaret mosque among the people. The mosque is covered with a single lead coated dome. Ertuğrul Gazze was the father of the founder of the Ottoman Empire, Osman Gazze. It's believed that Ertuğrul Gazze was the son of Suleiman Shah, who was the leader of the tribe called Kayu, who were emigrating from Central Asia to Anatolia. After many invasions from the Mongols, it's believed that Suleiman Shah guided his tribe to a safer place in Anatolia. Just outside the tomb of Ertuğrul Gazze, that means in the gardens, we can also find the tomb of Halime Hatun, who is believed to have been the wife of Ertuğrul Gazze. As well, here we can find many tombs of Ertuğrul Gazze's Alps. There is not much information about Ertuğrul Gazi's life, but the most accepted version says that Ertuğrul Gazi provided some support to the Seljuks against the Mongols who were approaching from east and Byzantines in the west. For all his service given to the Seljuks, he was regarded with land, which nowadays is Söğüt, the birthplace of the Ottoman Empire. Ertuğrul Gazi died in 1281, at the age of 90, and was buried near Sot. After his death, his tomb became a spiritual destination. <laughs> Here 
Ertuğrul Gaz Türbesi saygı nöbetini ukası olarak devredir. Ertuğrul Gaz Türbesi saygı nöbetini ukası olarak devredir. Ertuğrul Gaz Türbesi saygı nöbetini ukası olarak devrediyor. Ertuğrul Gaz Türbesi saygı nöbetini ukası olarak devrediyor. İleri bak. Ha, baba, lan. Uçalım ileri. Bak. Derlerinize bak. On a hilltop near Söğüt is the shrine of Dursun Fakir, who was a mystic, poet, and a scholar of Islamic jurisprudence. With Osman Gassi, he witnessed the foundation of the Ottoman Empire. After the conquest of Karajahisar near Eskişehir province, he is believed to have delivered the Friday sermon in which he announced Osman Gassi as the head of a new and independent Ottoman state. Apart from the important history that this place holds, also you need to come here so you can see on your own the beautiful views that we can have from this point. Here we can have 360 degrees of all the surroundings of Seoul. You will definitely love it. So this was our half day trip to Seoul village from Eskishehir. As you can see, it is very close from Eskishehir. By bus it's only one hour and it's really worth coming here. This city has a lot of history to offer, but unfortunately it's not very recognized by the tourism local and international. It just started a couple of years ago because of this famous series that you already know, but it's just not about the this series this place really offers you a lot of history and this is the place where the ottoman empire once once founded so i highly recommend you that if you are a history lover and you want to know more about uh, turkey and the ottoman empire as well this is the place to start with so hopefully you have liked this video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoy it